Antonio Rudiger sacrificed himself for his Real Madrid teammates on Tuesday evening. Los Merengues faced Shakhtar Donetsk in Warsaw. The visitors were trailing 1-0 until the 95th minute before Rudiger's heroics secured a vital point for his side. The Germans scored a crucial header which sealed Real Madrid's passage to the Champions League knockout. As Rudiger connected with the hopeful long ball, Shakhtar keeper Anatoly Trebin advanced off his line in an attempt to punch the ball clear. Instead, he must-timed his intervention and collided head-on with the former Chelsea defender. The keeper finished the game with his head bandaged, while Rudiger, who had laid stricken on the floor for some time, left the field with his shirt covered in blood. According to La Sexta in Spain, the German had to have 20 stitches to seal the wound which opened up just next to his left eye. And he'll undergo tests today to ascertain whether he suffered a fracture too. Their draw means Real Madrid sit top of Group F with 10 points ahead of RB Leipzig, Shakhtar and Celtic. Manager Carlo Ancelotti was ecstatic after securing qualification. Llegamos a este punto de la temporada bien, muy bien. Creo que en línea general el equipo ha cumplido. Estamos en el octavo de final de la Champions. Hemos mostrado una vez más que nunca nos rendimos, también cuando no las cosas no sale bien. Hemos jugado muy mal esta noche, pero esto puede pasar en el fútbol. Lo importante es que cuando las cosas no salen bien, no te rinde. Eh, lo hemos intentado hasta el final. They are becoming masters of last-minute goals. As the coach said himself, they never surrender. A veces esto pasa. Explicarlo. Eh, es bastante difícil. Hay partidos que tú tienes un buen, donde tú tienes un buen control, y después encaja, encaja un gol. Eh, anímicamente, el, el equipo rival que ha jugado muy bien defensivo, eh, para mí te ha creado problemas. Eh, lo positivo es que, como siempre, nunca nos rendimos. Ganar al Madrid no es fácil. Preparations are now underway for their El Clasico encounter with Barcelona on Sunday. As for their rivals, they face Inter Milan this evening, meaning they have less time to recover for the crucial game. But Ancelotti doesn't believe that'll have much effect. No, I think not, because when you play on the Sunday, you have all the time to do it. Eh, he hecho cambios solamente para evitar problemas porque yo creo que el problema era preparar bien el partido de hoy visto que tú has jugado sábado por la noche con el viaje algunos jugadores seguían un poco cansados que no, que no quería arriesgar lo que no han jugado que habitualmente jueguen es por esto no para preparar el, para tenerlos frescos por el partido porque puede ser que aquí no ha jugado hoy no va a jugar también domingo Moving on now, but sticking with Real Madrid. Kylian Mbappé is currently in the Spanish capital. This time, the Frenchman is heading there with teammates Gianluigi Donnarumma, Keylor Navas and Sergio Ramos. According to Cadena Cope, the group will attend a bullfight. Given recent developments regarding Mbappé's future, the trip risks causing a ruckus once again. A behind-closed-doors training session is planned for PSG players this morning, but the bullfight is scheduled for 7 p.m. The Champions League is back on our screens this evening. There are a host of tasty fixtures and we'll be back to unpack the action tomorrow. In the meantime, take care and as always, football forever! <laughs>